So look at this flamingo. Are you dying? And then boom, you need some food for your barbecue. Here it is for you. Beans, mustard. Well, it's not really food. It's more like condiments. Guys, the dollar store ceases to amaze me. Oh man, I would have peed my pants if I was a teenager again. I would have definitely bought that and put that in my room. Hello people, I'm about to go into the Dollar Tree. Okay, when you watch uh, Dollar Tree hauls or shop with me's on YouTube, does that get you excited to like go to the Dollar Tree? I swear, I never shopped at the Dollar Tree before I started watching like shop with me's and hauls on YouTube. And then I realized, oh my gosh, Dollar Tree carries some pretty amazing things. And then also some not so amazing things, but some pretty exciting, like, I don't know, generic things. Anyway, um, I feel like I just came here, but I've been seeing like new at the Dollar Tree because people, um, you know, have been finding new things at the Dollar Tree. Some man is getting into his car and he was like, what is she doing? I'm talking to my friends, okay? Okay, anyway, so I've been seeing people post new things at the Dollar Tree and I'm like, what is new there? I need all these new things. So here I am again. My mission today is to find some Disney things. I We are starting to plan our Disney trip and I am like over the moon, I'm so excited. And um, apparently they have some Disney toys and memorabilia and some pretty cool things that you could bring with you to Disney. Hopefully I find them here. This is not the best Dollar Tree, but my fingers are crossed. So here we go. I hope you enjoy your time shopping with me and I hope we find some pretty amazing things. Hey yo! Okay, so here's a wall of all of the hair accessories and hair bows and hairbrushes and all that stuff. I found some Disney um, themed hairbrushes, which is such a cute little touch there, um, especially for kids. And I know my kids hate to brush their hair, but I think this might incline them a little. Well, you know what helps them? The Tangle Teaser. That's what helps my kids. Um, but I was really surprised to see like bobby pins, a whole thing of them for a dollar. And then um, like these hair bows, there was four or five, I don't know, four in there for a dollar. Just little hair barrettes and then the clips and just like scrunchies and you know, all these hair things for a dollar. I couldn't believe it. Again, I'm kind of a newbie. I don't really venture toward the back of the store that often. So, you know, I still get excited. And then I found this frozen hair bow and uh, looking back, I should have bought them, but Avelina, she's seven and she's kind of in the age where she's not so into like princessy things anymore. I don't know. These socks are really cute. They're the perfect size for little toddlers. And then I found these bags. I don't know what you use them for. Memorabilia, if you are, you know, going in and out of the pool at your hotel, you can bring, you know, your towels in it or stuff like that. And um, these were at the checkout. The I think they're cuter. The trolls and, um, okay. And then earlier today, I saw a, a haul where someone found a flamingo little bag and I thought, oh my gosh, maybe it's a pencil holder. So I came over here and I couldn't find it anywhere, but these were pretty cute, just not what I was looking for. Flamingos, how can you beat that? And then I found this wall of, um, they're, they're like notebooks and I thought this would be a really cute thing to carry around to get autographs instead of purchasing like a Disney autograph book for like, I don't know, 15, $20 I'm assuming. These are a dollar, so you can't really beat that. And um, they're like Disney characters, I think. I mean, I see Merida. I don't know if Avengers is Disney, but Mickey definitely is. And so I thought that would be a great idea for that. Or just, you know, for them to jot doodles in when they're bored. And they can play with these stickers too. And someone told me about an idea where the Disney fairy comes to your hotel after a long day of travels. And if you're a good little kid, they leave a treat for you on the bed. The Disney fairy does this. So um, I might ask the Disney fairy to come along to my hotel and plant some treats if my kids are good. And um, maybe she can buy them at the Dollar Tree. Okay. I also, those crayons that I passed, all Disney themed. Does Disney have like a, a thing with the Dollar Tree? Like, how come stuff at the Disney store is like a million dollars, but Disney stuff at Dollar Tree is only a dollar? I don't know. It's blowing my mind. And then they have a ton of these little towels. They're like washcloth towels. You throw them in water, like a tub or something, and they grow into a towel. And so here's a, a Elsa Frozen. They also have other princesses and Doc McStuffins. And then I found a bin with a whole bunch of like uh, boy themed. Well, girl, it could be girl themed, but um, like, I don't know, Spider-Man. Is that Disney? I don't even know. But they had cars and I don't know other things. So I thought that would be really cute. Okay. And then I just found these on an end cap when I was looking for like cleaning products, that unicorn or whatever horse that was, it was so pretty 
PK Max or PJ Max. Guys, I'm so out of it. These um, nature themed, oh, I wanted to buy them so bad, but like what would you do with them? How would you, I know they're for the wall, but I'm thinking I might get like a canvas. Look at this flamingo. Are you dying? Because I was. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I need to do something with this. But I'm not very creative when it comes to stuff like that. And I saw in someone else's haul that they found a cactus. Oh, man. I would have peed my pants. They're so cute. And then the Paris themed. They had feathers. All that kind of stuff. Just very, very cute things for a dollar. And then... Um, I liked these little water bottles. At first I thought it was like a water filter. And then I was like, wait, we're at the Dollar Tree. The, I don't think so. And that one says, I need a six month vacation twice a year. I thought that was hilarious. But the ones above, you put like fruit in it and it's like infuses your water with the flavor of whatever fruit you throw in that little net basket. And then just coincidentally, I found those Disney things, uh, the Disney water bottles. And then I found these, um, what are they, stickers. And I initially really wanted to go to the Dollar Tree to find the Tsum Tsums. Someone posted, <laughs> I obviously watch a lot of Dollar Tree hauls. That's what inclines me to go to these things. Um, someone posted they found Tsum Tsums. I sadly did not, but I found those stickers. And um, coming up is like all the Mother's Day kind of stuff that I found. And this is on an end cap. I don't know what your mom would do with these. Dream, hello. And then I found love back there. I don't know what else they say. I don't know, just little decor pieces. And then I don't know what you would put in here. Candles or, uh, I don't know, hair clips. Those are for rings or bracelets. I, obviously, I am, like, not a very good mom. <laughs> like, all these little trinket things. I'm like, what do I do with this? I have no idea. And then these photo frames, they're pretty cute for a dollar. They're, um... They're like plasticky, just a heads up on that. And then uh, these mugs are adorable too. If you are if you or your mom are into mugs, if you're putting together like a basket for your mom, the dollar store has a lot of great options for that actually. And you know, this spa section over here, there's like so many baskets that you could put together if you are thinking of doing like a Mother's Day basket or something like that. All those perfumes, I don't know how they smell. I don't know if you can open them up and test them. But, I mean, I don't know if anyone's going to stop you. And then these candles and those, um, the eye masks above. Those candles are really cute, too. And then these gray ones as well. I like the jars. I think they're a little um, fancier. And then a loofah. Throw that in a basket. You know, great, great options. Oh, my gosh. And then three bath bombs for a dollar. That's how they should be priced, if you ask me. I think that's a perfect price for them. Oh, my goodness. Then I found this. Can't touch this. And I got to tell you, if I was a teenager again, I would have definitely bought that and put that in my room. But I feel like I'm a little old to have that. My husband would be like, why do you have this? And I'm so excited about it. I'm like, look at what I found. I couldn't believe it. Um, and then I started looking at these frames. They have a lot of different um, frames. And even if, like, the frames themselves are kind of um, cheap, but you can take the whatever, the paper out inside and put it in a frame that you do like. So Market Fresh, these are just a couple that I pulled out that I thought were cute. Hello Summer and then Tropical Fruits. That would be really cute to hang in your kitchen. I don't know if you like that. And then the secret ingredient is, what did it say, love? I found that little tribal thing and just some more like winery. That's a coral thing. If you want to throw it in your bathroom, farmer's market signs, life is a journey. So true. Never let go of your dreams. These are great inspirational quotes. You can hang them anywhere. A welcome right on your front door. Okay, and another reason I came to this Dollar Tree, uh, I was on a mission, like I keep telling you, for Disney things, and um, someone picked up uh, Disney, what is it, a glow stick crown. What? Sadly, I did not find it, but I did find these wands, which I was like, okay, it's better than nothing. It's something to give my kids at the park rather than them wanting those like $20 light up wands. I can just hand them that and we can be on our merry way. Do you feel me? Okay, and then I found some more um, Disney things. These are just a couple of board books, a couple more board books. Who doesn't love Toy Story and Tangled and all that stuff? They had a couple of Disney coloring books too as I was sifting through. And then here we are at the patriotic section. I am an American, very American, and so this stuff kind of makes me happy. It's not seasonal. You could do, you can wear this stuff all year long. The bandanas and those um, Americana coats, coats, totes, I mean. And then this whole aisle, oh, dedicated to 4th of July things. Um, I thought this one was really cute. God, God bless America. And then they have a lot of like those wood signs. Oh, I had to move because I felt like I was in someone's way. So I was like, okay, I'll go down here. Um, <laughs> these pens are really cute. And uh, you know what they didn't have? 
Um, what are those things called? Sparklers. I was looking for them, couldn't find them. Maybe they'll throw them out later in the season. Um, I almost bought that for my Dora, but I feel like it would have, I don't know, annoyed my husband. Um, th that glow stick flag, another option for like 4th of July night if you don't want to have sparklers. And then these. <laughs> I had never seen these before in my life. I guess if you want your kids to like, I don't know, be patriot, like fairy wings? Is that, are they patriotic? I don't know, that cracked me up. And then these signs, these wooden signs, I like to, oh, well that's a necklace, but these wooden signs, I um, used to buy one a season and just put it at my front door, like, you know, in lieu of a wreath or something, but they block my peephole, so I can't keep doing that, because then when people knock, I'm like, I have no idea who's out there. It's like a crapshoot if I open the door. Uh, so <laughs> I have stopped, I have since stopped putting stuff blocking my people. So I didn't buy any of those, but they are really cute. And I guess you can hang them all around your house if you want to. And then that hat, I thought it was really, for a dollar, like how can you say no to that if you need a hat, you know? And then this is an end cap full of, uh, you know, party supplies if you are doing like a 4th of July party or any kind of party. You can have, you know, flag, American flag napkins, plates, and they had, what else, straws and all that kind of stuff. Snack, snack little, uh, what is that called? A cup, snack cup? Okay, oh, and here, whoops, I forgot to put this in with the other Mother's Day stuff, but here's some more Mother's Day stuff. Lotions and that little manicure set. It comes with tweezers and uh, nail clippers and then three things like a lotion, gel, and b bath salts and all that stuff for a dog. Guys, the dollar store ceases to amaze me, and that mask, that's a great price. Okay, and then I went to another Dollar Tree. This is the second one I went to. It's only a couple minutes in here. And I found, a, like, a Disney puzzle, which would be, like, just a cute little thing for your kids if you want to. And I looked for Tsum Tsums. This is why I came here. And I'm assuming this is where they were because this whole thing is empty. This whole section, someone must have came and wiped them out. Or that's just where they store the Disney toys. And that's like a hot item, you know? I also found this on the back of the door, uh, you know, organizer thing. And I thought, I don't have any doors in my house. Most of my doors like open like a an accordion, you know, it's not cool. And then uh, I found these at the checkout, the little Disney coloring books and wh what are those stickers, I think. Anyway, oh, and then I found like barbecue stuff. So if you're having a barbecue this summer or if you like to grill out, here's some great things. I have actually never used that ketchup and mustard thing. Is it, does anyone use that? Let me know below. Um, and then these little baskets for like hot dogs or french fry, like whatever you wanna put in there. Um, and then those are like the little sheets to put in the basket. I think that is so cute and I love that they are affordable. And then all the grill stuff. I feel like you can put together like a Father's Day basket too with all this stuff, that hamburger maker, a bunch your grill tools and then um what are these not washcloths but um like towels and then the the tablecloths so many cool things um that you can use like if you're having a barbecue you don't even need to have a barbecue just have one at your house and then boom you need some food for your barbecue here it is for you beans mustard well it's not really food it's more like condiments <laughs> mayonnaise ketchup mustard all that stuff okay so that is everything that i found that i thought was interesting enough to share with you at the dollar tree this time around let me know if you guys like these dollar tree hauls and i will definitely keep doing them uh or shop with me's i will have a haul up mm, tomorrow or the next day with everything that i bought and i did buy a bunch of items that i didn't even like uh video so there's a little sneak peek for you okay i'll hang out with you guys tomorrow bye